Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler Ariads, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Alright, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the MC Biker Businesses. Yeah, this is a 2021 updated version. Everything you guys to know, and it's perfect timing because this week, not only are the clubhouses 50% off, the biker businesses themselves are 50% off. And in addition to that, it's double cash money payouts for the biker business sales, all right? Now, before we get started, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, ring that bell, all that good stuff. You guys don't want to miss out on any of my content, my guides, GTA videos, everything that I do over here on my channel. Make sure you guys stay notified, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. To get started with the MC businesses, you got to purchase a clubhouse. And like I said, this week, the clubhouses are 50% off. However, they're pretty cheap no matter what. You can get a clubhouse, a decent one, for about $100,000. And in this guide, and for pretty much everything GTA, you never want to buy anything up in the Grapeseed area. Nothing past the Alamo Sea. Anything that far up north is just not worth it. So if you're a new player to GTA 5 Online, which I'm sure thousands and thousands of you are because they're adding new players every single week, to get started, you got to have a clubhouse. You can get one for about hundred grand in a decent location. And once you get that clubhouse, you can renovate it. You can add a, a motorcycle workshop. You can kind of decorate the interior, all that good stuff. And this particular office, that's also where you'll launch your MC you know, missions. They're, they're specific to the MC business. But we're going to be focusing on the actual business sales themselves. All right. Now, as you see up here, this is the clubhouse. You can customize the mural on the wall, the way it looks on the inside. I'll let you guys, you know, kind of discover that on your own as you're going through this. Like I said, I want to focus on the meat and potatoes and give you guys all the information you need to know in regard to making money with the MC business and everything that it's all about. Now, once you have your clubhouse customized the way you like it, you want to go into your office and check out the open road server. This is kind of like where you'll buy your MC businesses and monitor your uh, your inventory and things like that. Okay, so in here, this is where you can buy your businesses. Now I'm going to talk about the best locations and which ones you want to buy and the ones that will make you the most money in what particular order. Okay, so the best location and the top business is the Coco business, right? The cocaine lockup, and you want to buy the location where the Alamo Sea is. It's right. It's basically in the Sandy Shores area. And this is going to be your top business and the best location for it. Typically, it's nine hundred and seventy-five thousand, but this week you can get it for four hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred. Next up is the meth business, and that's going to be the Grand Sonora Desert location. All right. Typically, you buy it for nine hundred and ten thousand, but for this week you can purchase it for four hundred fifty-five thousand. And we'll talk about what happens. We'll talk. We'll talk about what happens if you have to move your business as well. All right. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Next up is the counterfeit cash. You want to get that in the Grand Sonora Desert location. Typically, it costs eight hundred forty-five thousand, but this week you can purchase it for four hundred and twenty-two thousand five hundred. So those are the top three in that particular order that would make you the most money. The other two will be the weed business and the counterfeit cash. You can add those at a later time, but they just won't make you as much money. And most people focus on the top three. I have all five, uh, but again, the, the those top three are the ones you want to focus on. Okay. Now, once you purchase your locations, you're going to have to do a setup mission for them. And then there's also a few things that you need to have to get going. You need to purchase equipment, staff, and then at some point security. And then we'll talk about the sales, what sale location to go to, your supplies, all that good stuff, right? First up, let's start with what you need to have to start making a profit, your upgrades. The equipment upgrade, staff upgrade, and security. First is the equipment. Purchase this upgrade to install higher quality equipment. This will speed up your production rate, improve the overall value of your product, and allow your supplies to stretch further. You need to have that. That's going to cost you about 935000 That is not discounted. It hardly ever goes on discount. All right. Next is the staff upgrade. It's very similar. You purchase this upgrade to hire more staff. This will speed up your production rate and improve the overall value of your product. That's $390,000. So when you go out to purchase an MC business, and basically all the businesses uh, are almost all of them, you have to also account for the equipment that you have to get as well to start making a profit. Next up will be the security upgrades. The security upgrade you want to add last, you do need to have it. Okay, you do need to have your security upgrades, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. That's going to run you about $570,000 
for the business. The security upgrades do not eliminate being raided. It just increases the amount of time in between the raids for each business, all right? So when it comes to your supplies, you have two options. You can either buy supplies or steal supplies. And most people are going to buy supplies because it takes less time and you'll still turn a profit. But if you're 100% solo, maybe stealing supplies would be the better bet for you. However, you can still turn a profit by buying supplies. Now, when you steal supplies, this is how this kind of method works. You basically just steal one round of supplies for each business. And by the time you get back to your first business that you stole supplies for, it should be cooked and then you can sell it. And that's typically how that works. All right. Now, the MC business, when you buy your supplies, each business will take roughly uh, three to six hours to completely fill up and be ready to sell. So after about five to six hours, all the business will be ready to go and you can sell. And what you want to do is you want to do other things in between that, like run Cayo Perico heists, uh, import export, or run some crates, because the MC business is a passive income. Now, when it comes to your sales, this is obvious, always sell at the location that gives you the most money. There's no reason at all to sell at the cheaper uh, location. It's just not even an option. Always sell for the ones that give you more money. That's very, very simple on that part. Now, a few things I want to talk about. Like I said, we'll talk about the MC business raids. Uh, the MC business raids are going to happen no matter what. Security does help. When you buy the security, it increases the amount of time. It basically doubles the amount of time that it takes for you to get raided. And it also allows you to have more stock or more product before you get raided as well okay we'll use the cocoa business for example so with the cocoa business without security you'll get rated every five hours and the timer starts when you have roughly eighty four thousand dollars of product in there if you do have security the raid timer takes 10 hours and it, it doesn't start until you have a hundred and twelve thousand dollars in the actual business so that definitely helps out. So, so the it, the security is needed, but it would be the last upgrade that I would purchase, all right? Now, when it comes to sale vehicles, I want to talk a little bit about the sale vehicles. If you can keep your product at 1.25 bars worth of product, you'll only have one vehicle. So up to 1.25 bars, one vehicle, up to two and a half bars of product, two vehicles, anything above that, up to four vehicles. So with the top three businesses, the Coco, the Meth, and the Counterfeit Cash, if you buy one round of supplies, it's always going to give you at least two bars. So that means you're always going to have at least up to two vehicles of sale vehicles. So you could have two post-op trucks, which will take you pretty much the whole amount of time to sell. And your sale timer is about 30 minutes. You got 30 minutes to make each sale. And if you got two post op trucks, it'll take you pretty much the whole amount of time. So keep that in mind, okay? So, with that being said, that is really everything you guys need to know, bare minimum, about the biker MC businesses. All right. I don't want to confuse you with a whole bunch of stats and things like that. I've got a ton of other videos that go into much more depth and detail. Please check those out. I'll link a few of them in the description down below. But as far as a beginner and getting this thing set up, this is pretty much the what you really need to know to get going and get started, all right? Thank you so much for coming out to the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illustrator Reels content, the game Smash. I mean, smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.